222 day, we will talk about quantum resistant crypto and the quote unquote QFS cryptos shown here and a few of them that are heavily involved in quantum resistant cryptography, which all tie back into IBM, which is heavily involved with Stellar and IBM approached them to create IBM Hyperledger which is our common tie into all of our cryptos on here. Here we have HBAR and XDC called out, but we will also talk about Algorand as well. I wanted to talk about this because of a clip from Cypress Demand Core and how it tied into my recent content on quantum computing and IBM. So I tend to agree that in 2030, I don't even know if Bitcoin's going to be the winner. You mentioned quantum. What if a quantum came in, a quantum resisted, you know, crypto came in and was able to flip Bitcoin that was better than Bitcoin? I'm right? Flip Bitcoin better than Bitcoin. Quantum resistant. Well, let's hear this from a large financial institution. Not, don't just take it from Cyprus, right? Check this out. Quantum Computing, City Document, July 2023. And if we scroll right down here to page 10, this is a mouthful, but pay attention. It says, <clears throat> let's zoom in. The cryptography underpinning Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general is also at the risk of being broken. Furthermore, with the increasing investment in Metaverse and Web3 projects that are intended to build a more decentralized web using distributed ledger technologies, breaking the underlying cryptography could enable nefarious actors to break claim ownership over digital assets and DLTs. To reduce this threat, this is important, and improve security, the cryptocurrency community should agree on and deploy quantum-resistant signature schemes. The ties into IBM can't be ignored here. In May of 2023, IBM unveiled end-to-end -end quantum safe technology to protect governments and businesses' most valuable data. It is a pretty technically complex press release, but IBM's quantum safe tech and its infrastructure. Here it is an abstract from the NIST about post quantum cryptographies and how it revolves around digital signature schemes. And at the end, I will talk about crypto hardware wallets that are at the top of the charts in terms of security on that note. Here is an extremely long and complex article about post quantum schemes. And I was able to pull some information out of here and ask chat GPT to help explain. Post quantum cryptography aims to develop cryptographic algorithms that are secure against attacks from classical and quantum computers. Post-quantum signature schemes provide a way for entities to sign messages in a way that remains secure, even in the presence of powerful quantum computers. And here are four cryptographic algorithms that are options to employ. So you've got lattice-based cryptography, which are geometric structures, and you have to solve them with the shortest vector problem. Hash-based produces a fixed size string of bytes called the hash value or digest. It is computationally infeasible to find two different inputs to produce the same hash and it is considered post-quantum secure, is based on error-correcting codes, and are built around the difficulty of decoding certain types of linear error-correcting codes. And then you have multivariate polynomial cryptography that relies on the difficulty of solving systems of multivariate polynomial equations. And in this clip, he talked about HBAR, ALGO, and XDC, and I ha have tacked on XLM. Here we have a post about XDC and quantum resistance, which is 
here on the xdc.dev site. And XDC is exploring integrating quantum key distribution tech. It is also important to highlight that R3 Corda is integrated into the Hyperledger landscape. In June of 2023, we had an article t talking about how R3, in partnership with Adhera, has also launched a Hyperledger lab called Harmonia to accelerate the development of interoperability protocols for regulated financial institutions, which is also called out the R3 Corda page, where they welcome the launch of Harmonia. After that, we come back to HBAR, and on the Hedera help site, it calls out Hedera as post-quantum secure for hashing and encryption, but not signatures and key agreement. The Hashgraph consensus algorithm itself is post-quantum secure as long as you have a post-quantum signature. And on that, Hedera and post-quantum tech firm Seals Q Corp has partnered with WiseKey to develop a proof of technology for a crypto wallet on the Hedera network. In March of 2024, we have an article talking about that. The cutting edge feature enhances protection of the 12 word seed phrase, which is critical to the security of any wallet containing 128 bits. And if you check out their site, it talks about the announcement of the first demonstrator of its quantum resistant tech and how it's running on EAL5 plus tamper resistant platforms. And I will explain what EAL is. On the quantum innovation page of their site, it talks about how they have worked with the NIST to concentrate on public cryptography and digital signatures and key encapsulation, which was called out in our article as one of the key parts of quantum resistant tech in here. Now we go to Algo and an article here, which is talking about Algorand's quantum resistance strategy that focuses on protecting consensus, transactions, and blockchain history, which involve quantum resistant verifiable random functions, as well as digital signatures. Algorand is actively working on integrating digital signature schemes resistant to quantum attacks. And now I want to talk about XLM because of its heavy and historical involvement with IBM and how IBM is at the forefront of quantum computing and quantum resistance. Here in an AMA from 2018 or 2019, Jed McCaleb responded to a question about quantum resistance and calls out that if the signature and hashes are secure, their consensus protocol itself has no additional computational hardness assumptions. The hashes are already post quantum secure and they could work in post quantum secure public keys pretty easily. At that time, post quantum signatures were not as well understood and implemented as they are today. BTQ was awarded 10K for research into a scaling solution to improve transaction verification speed and cost by using zero knowledge proofs which is what Algorand uses in the, their consensus protocol. Here is a video from BTQ that Crypto Airy talked about a while back. BTQ offers a range of post-quantum products from custom-built languages and compilers to cloud-accessible software solutions and dedicated hardware. PQ Scale is a novel quantum-resistant blockchain scaling technique that uses zero-knowledge proofs to speed up transactions and lower costs. 
Also, BTQ builds applications for privacy-minded solutions, specialized for accelerating ZK, our zero-knowledge computation with fast, affordable technology that is API accessible. Post-quant cryptography for blockchains, this is a huge area of our business where we've developed several scaling solutions for, for blockchains. When we think about the difficulty to break encryption, we typically look at the, the assumptions or the primitives and really regardless of the blockchain structure or architecture, whether it's linear like Ethereum or whether it's a DAG, um, regardless of the structure, they're all relying on the same assumption, on the same mathematical problem, which is the assumption of the difficulty of, of, of prime factorization or the discrete logarithm problem. And when it comes to breaking those algorithms, it, 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 it's agnostic of the blockchain architecture. Uh, it, it really just depends on you know how difficult is it to break to to, to solve those assumed to be hard problems like discrete log and, and and prime factorization. So it doesn't really play a role and it doesn't make you more safe. Really, what you need to focus on uh, from a blockchain security pr perspective is the underlying cryptographic primitives. Here is the BTQ site, w w which talks about p p post quantum infrastructure. So that they have five products, including hard, 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 hardware, blockchain scaling, a, a programming language built around zero knowledge proofs, and post quantum s s signatures. Prion is a versatile platform that lays the foundation for a myriad of advanced cryptographic possibilities, and it is a and it is a fiat Shamir. I hope I pronounced each of those names correctly transformed interactive protocol in which a prover can convince a verifier that the prover knows a secret witness for the tr truthfulness of a g g g g general statement which explains how a zero knowledge proof works here, I want to talk about crypto hardware wallet security, which is not a thing that I have been too concerned about until recently, where I learned more about the evaluation assurances. And a lot of things out there are EAL5, 5, five plus six or six plus decent bot 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 biometric is eal5 plus uh, how 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 however it includes bot 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 biometric ver verification and a t t t t t t 24 word phrase with the option of creating a c c c custom 25th word. So even though it is EAL5 plus, it has t t t twice the amount of t t typical words as well as a c c customized pass praise acting as a 25th word. I tr tr tried to find EAL 6 plus w w wallets and came up with th 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 these four here, including Cool Wallet Pro. Trezor Safe 3, Tangem, and I am Key 
Pro. And out of the five, including decent biometric, I have this and Tangem. Here on the Tangem site, it calls out EAL 6 Plus, and you can find that information on the Cool Wallet Pro site here, the Trezor here, and I am Key Pro here. 